Heart disease kills more people than all cancers combined, yet 80% don't know they have it until their first cardiac event. Atherosclerosis is the slowest assassin. Plaque builds for decades. Oxidized LDL particles penetrate arterial walls. Macrophages engulf them, creating foam cells. By the time you feel symptoms, arteries are 70% blocked. Arrhythmias are electrical malfunctions. Your SA node normally fires 60 to 100 times per minute when ions channels malfunction, sodium, potassium, calcium, your heart shudders, races, or stops. Many people dismiss palpitations as stress. Heart failure isn't your heart stopping, it's your ventricles losing contractility. The ejection fraction drops below 40%, your heart compensates by beating faster, enlarging until it can't anymore. Cardiomyopathy literally means sick heart muscle. Hypertrophic type thickens walls, dilated type stretches chambers, restrictive type stiffens everything. Each has genetic components triggered by lifestyle factors. Quick check. Can you climb two flights of stairs without stopping? If not, your cardiac output might already be compromised. The breathlessness isn't age, it's adaptation to reduced function. The truly terrifying part, endothelial dysfunction starts in your 20s. High glucose, inflammatory foods, and stress damage the glycocalyx, the protective layer inside blood vessels. Once it's gone, cascade begins. Women especially, your symptoms aren't classic chest pain. It's fatigue, jaw pain, nausea. Doctors miss female heart disease by 50% more often because they're looking for male patterns. These categories aren't separate, they interact. Atherosclerosis causes arrhythmias. Arrhythmias causes heart failure. Heart failure worsens everything. Your heart sending signals right now. It's time to start listening.